It's my birthday! <laughs> Welcome to a new vlog. Welcome to my birthday vlog. Welcome to Wednesday. My birthday falls on a Wednesday this year. I'm 40. I'm 40! That's... It's weird. It Like, it's not bad weird, it's just weird. It's like, wow. It, I, like... I feel like I really should be an adult by now. <laughs> But, like, I've never, like, sometimes I feel like an adult and other times I feel like I still don't know what the heck I'm doing. So, yeah, it's it's just a bit, like, that feels like a really grown-up adult age. And I'm not quite sure I feel it. Age is definitely a state of mind. You're only as old as you feel. But overall, I think I'm excited for 40. I was excited for 30, so I am excited for 40. I think it's going to be a good decade. My 30s overall were really good, but I feel like there's still room for improvement. <laughs> so I feel like my 40s could be even better because my 30s were better than my 20s. My 20s were better than my teens. Nothing is quite as good as when I was like eight or nine. Nothing's ever quite <laughs> been as good as that. Overall, every decade has been better than the previous one. I'm looking forward to 40. Um, it's been a quiet morning. It's been a slow morning. I let myself sleep in. I'm going to go over to my parents' house today and I'm going to spend the night because we're doing just a little dinner, birthday dinner, but um, I want to be able to drink some sparkling rosé and stay and enjoy my cake and maybe watch a movie with mom and not feel like I've got to rush through everything to get home before it gets too late because I don't like driving after a certain time and I also don't drive if I've had anything to drink. So I figure I'm just going to spend the night, have a little midweek birthday staycation at mom and dad's house. I was waiting for a Sephora order and I was just like, oh, what if it doesn't get here until later this afternoon and like, oh, I just want to go to the house now and I was thinking about going now and then coming back to get it if it got dropped on my door, which it did get dropped on my door, but it has been dropped off. So it's here. I've got it. I'll open it up when I get to my parents' house and show you then. I just want to get to the house. Although I'm looking at my beautiful flowers that mom sent me, mom and dad sent me, that was in the last vlog, and like I kind of don't want to leave them. But I, like, I, I can't take them with me. That would just be ridiculous. They will be fine. I'm going to leave them here on my desk. They'll be here when I get back. So yeah, it's... I, I've already woken up to texts and DMs from people and there's 19 posts so far on my Facebook timeline that I need to respond to. My mom's tagged me in some things on Facebook and yeah, so the birthday wishes started last night actually and then I woke up to a bunch of notifications already on my phone. So I'm already feeling the love and it's been wonderful. I'm in a good mood. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel on the actual day, but I'm looking forward to going over to my parents' house and seeing the dogs and snuggling with the dogs. And yeah, it should, it should be good. So I'm going to stop waffling and I'm going to get everything finished, getting it together and get on the road. And we will go hang out with Gus and Lexi. I want to watch some ridiculous reality TV. Um, and just relax today as much as possible. I'm going to do some writing because I don't want to get behind on, on, on that project. I'm going to do some writing in Independent Hearts. I can say the series title now. Still need to come up with a book title for it though. I also just really, really, I'm basically my rule today. And my mom said this when I was texting her saying, I don't know when the package is going to get here. So I don't know when I'm going to leave. She's like, it's your birthday. Do whatever you want. So that's basically my whole rule for today. It's whatever I feel like doing is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get everything packed together and get on the road, probably stop for a birthday Starbucks, and I will see you guys at the house.
Alrighty. Okay. I'm at my parents' house. I've been here for a little while. I've just been snuggling on the couch with Gus and Lexi. I've had one on each side and it has been amazing. I've been replying to so many online messages on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube already. The birthday vlog isn't even up. The pre-birthday vlog isn't even up, um, but I'm already getting comments on YouTube on today's video, which is just really lovely. So yeah, it's 10, it's about 20 to 4, and it's been a really lovely day. <laughs> um, as I mentioned back at the apartment, my Sephora order did arrive before I left, so I just threw it in a bag and got on the road. I figured I would open it here. It's just three things. I didn't go too crazy. I was looking and there just really wasn't that much that I was like, oh, I really want that. That was probably a good thing. And I had a gift card from my sister still to spend. So that helped. First thing I got was the birthday gift. Um, so they had a, they had four different options, which is really nice because normally in previous years there's just been like two, but they had four different options. There was a NARS cosmetic um, gift that was like a lip gloss or lipstick and a um, bronzer, I think, but I didn't really need that. And the other two were ones that were nice, but not really something I was that interested in. But I love Laneige and I'm nearly out of my full size tube of our full size jar of the lip sleeping mask. I've gotten one of these little mini ones before. They do last a good while. So I'm glad to have another one. And then it also comes with the moisture, the water bank moisture cream and the water sleeping mask. So I might try these out or use these tonight, to be honest. Then this was kind of a last minute add on because I really wasn't sure but I really like the look of it. Um, and it's the Natasha Denona Mini Love Palette. So it's little, which will be, oh, it's really little, which will be great for traveling. Um, and as I've learned with Natasha Denona um, products, a little goes a really long way. So I think this will be fine, but it just looks like that. Um, so you've got a couple mattes. Um, I think two of them are more like a satin finish and then one this one on the end is like a thicker glitter palette glitter shade so it looked beautiful in the pictures and on the models and I just thought this would be really nice I don't have anything quite like this especially in a small little palette size so like the little makeup bag that I brought with me for this overnight this would go perfect in it and you've got some um, shades to do a little bit more of a daytime look but then also you could do something really kind of smoky and dramatic so that's exciting and then the big thing <laughs> I got this for myself for my birthday a few years ago I think like when I was 36 37 I know I featured it in the video that I did that year um, so I thought you know I've got to keep on there's really nothing else that's tempting me. I'm not wearing a lot of makeup right now and I don't really need skincare, but I am burning through candles like a mad woman. <laughs> so I got a Jo Malone candle. I got my favorite Jo Malone candle and I love the packaging for Jo Malone. Like this just makes, this just feels like a nice birthday present because like it all comes so nicely packaged. So I got the Peony and Blush Suede candle. It's all taped up, so I don't want to... I'll, I'll untape it just a little bit. I really want to smell it. <laughs> Even though my allergies are going crazy. Oh, that just smells so nice. So this is going to be a special writing candle. I have another candle that is on the way from my Nordstrom order. So, um... This is going to be like when I start writing across the pond, I think there'll be the candle for that. And I can only burn it at my desk while I'm working on that. So this is not this is not going to be one that I light and leave on for like six hours at a time. This is going to be a special only while I'm writing kind of candle. Very excited 
about these items. I'm looking forward to using them. Just a few little treats for myself for my birthday because um, I'm all about treating yourself. I'm now going to go get back on the couch and back to watching TV and snuggling with the dogs and I'm really looking forward to dinner later. I hear my mom out in the kitchen so I'm going to go chat with her about dinner and yeah I will check with you guys later. <laughs> How does it feel to be the mother of a 40 year old? Well, since I'm only 39, <laughs> she's obviously, I don't know, she's aged worse than I have, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's cut the cake. My mom, the comedian. Yeah. Do you want me to do Yeah, it? do half. And then. I don't know, maybe. Too bad you all aren't here to enjoy this cake with us. I know, we've got more than enough half? to share. I think that's... Maybe thirds. This might be a little, yeah, half might be a little... Yeah. And then maybe thirds um, the other direction as well. Okay. Ends will be a little... Thirds? Or like that? Or thirds or quarters. I guess quarters. Yeah, let's do quarters. You can always have two pieces. I planned on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks so a good. A little uneven. You can have a big one on that corn on the no, end. Oh, we're fine. Okay, let me get Thank fine. you for baking the cake, Mommy. You're welcome. Let's see how it looks like in the middle. Let's yeah. see if it's up to bake stand. Yeah, Mom, Mom thought it wasn't going to win the technical. No, I had cracks on the top, so... <laughs> Paul Hollywood probably wouldn't be that impressed. No, no, he probably wouldn't. That's not very marbled, but or, it's not even throughout. Or Paul Holiday, as you called him in <laughs> London. <laughs> okay, another piece. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, look at the marbling on that, though. It's going to yeah, be Yeah, but yummy. it's not even throughout. <laughs> and the crumb texture. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Only if you watch British Bacon Show will you know what, I've, what I'm talking about. Of course. Crumb texture. Crumb texture. <laughs> My dad's like, crumb texture? <laughs> what matters is that it tastes good. <laughs> Now, Thursday, I just got off a call for therapy um, that went well. Yeah, I'm, I'm 40. 
definitely 40 today. <laughs> I mean, I was 40 yesterday, but yeah, it's <sighs> birthday's done. Now it's kind of on with the rest of my 40th year, but it's all good. I'm pretty much packed and ready to go. I'm going to go out and have some lunch with mom, I think. We had birthday cake for breakfast. If you can't have birthday cake for breakfast during basically, you know, the first couple of days after your birthday, like, when can you? So I've got plenty of leftover cake to take home with me too, so I'm really excited about that. But yeah, woke up early so I could have coffee and breakfast with mom and cuddled with the dogs on the couch for a little bit. I've painted my nails a nice bright pink. I still want it to be winter, but I also just had the kind of, re I've had the realization over the last few days that like, it's warming up. I can't change that. It's going to be really hot before I know it. Spring is kind of a blink and you miss it season <laughs> in Phoenix. And so I don't want to waste the beautiful weather we're still having for spring because I'm upset it's not winter anymore. <laughs> so sat out on the back patio. It was pretty cool and windy this morning. So I sat out there and painted my nails and it was lovely. Birthday went great. Um, I didn't really talk to you guys very much once I got back, once I got here or after my Sephora unboxing. But yeah, dinner was delicious. The steaks were cooked, grilled to perfection. Um, the roasted veggies were great. The cake was amazing. Mom and I frosted it together. We just had a great time. It was really lovely. And then Mom and I just watched TV in the evening um, after cake was done. So yeah, that's where we're at. It's been a great birthday, um, but not completely done yet. I'm um, gonna go hang out with the dogs and Mom for a little bit longer and then go back to my place where my birthday flowers are waiting for me on my desk. I'm gonna have a good rest of the week. The celebrations aren't stopping because birthday gifts are still arriving in the mail and I've got I got another gift card to Amazon so there's some things I'm looking at there so I'm just I'm just enjoying it and letting myself enjoy it. 40 is looking pretty good so far and I've had a few people in their birthday messages say like welcome to 40 <laughs> so it's a good club. I'm happy to be in the club now so yeah. Okay, I'm going to go check on the dogs and get some food, and I will check with you guys later when I'm back at the apartment. <laughs>
Okay, birthday balloon. <laughs> it is now evening. It is quarter to six. I'm about to go turn on PBS News Hour, and then I almost completely forgot. I have a lecture to attend. Well, not lecture, but yeah, I guess lecture. Lecture, discussion, presentation. I don't know what to call it. Author talk, I guess. The book that I was just reading out on the balcony, Long Time Coming by Michael Eric Dyson. That is tonight at seven. So that's in about an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm going to watch um, the news hour and get dinner started and then watch that. Listen to that while I eat dinner. It's getting quite chilly outside, even though there's still light. It seemed like a good time to come inside. It's just a beautiful evening. I'm going to really look forward to snuggling on the couch under my blankets tonight while I first watch the presentation and then watch TV. Don't know what I'm going to watch tonight, but I will find something. But yeah, I finished, I, I meant to finish the book before the talk, but I just didn't get around to it. I've been reading so many other things. Plus, it's really not a book that you can or that you should just plow through. Like, it's not a book I want to skim. I want to properly read it. But I also find that, like, I was just reading the first chapter today, like I was finishing the first chapter, and it's, it's intense. His writing is really, really good. But I've at least read the first chapter now before the talk. I'm really looking forward to hearing what he says tonight, because I think that will be really interesting. I got my writing done. I got up to 1,372 words. I need to do some writing over the weekend because I didn't do any writing on Monday and I only did like 200 words yesterday on my birthday. So I'm basically two days down this week. I'm doing sprints again. I did that yesterday or er, on Tuesday and I just feel like it makes it go, I feel like it makes me get to my word count faster because I'm really focused. Like I got to 1,376 on Tuesday in about 37 minutes with two five minute breaks in between. So still less than an hour. And then today my breaks were a little bit longer because I was watching some Marco Polos from Tamsin. So that took me a little bit longer. But my writing sprints, I did a 10 minute, a 15 and an 18. But again, that's 43 minutes total to get to today's goal and normally would only have five minute breaks in between that. So that again would still be under an hour, but I feel like if I just start writing, it takes me more than an hour. So I think it's because I'm stopping and like checking stuff. But when I know I'm in a sprint, I can't do that. Like I don't let myself do that. I don't just randomly respond to notifications on my phone and stuff. So I think I need to be doing sprints more often because I think it helps me write in a faster time frame. So I've pulled out this old notebook I have, this really pretty pink and rose gold notebook that I have that has the months and the days up at the top. So you circle the month and circle the day. I was keeping track of it on post-it notes and I thought that's just going to run through post-it notes. I'd rather have it all in a cute little notebook like that. We need to wrap this vlog up properly, which means our Huga game card of the vlog. What product do you think people will still use 500 years from now? And like, that's hard because there are types of products. Like I still think we'll use transportation devices, even if it's teleportation. I think we'll still use some sort of communication device, even if it's, you know, a, an implant in our head that acts as our cell phones. So like there's types of products I think we'll still use, but like specific products 500 years from now, I guess 500 years ago we used hammers and we're still using hammers now, but like will we still use hammers in 500 years or will they have some other way of like, like will everything just be 3D printed and we don't need to hammer anything anymore? <laughs> so I'm really struggling to think of like what product will we still use? 500 years. Like I'm looking around my apartment to see like, is there anything I can see that I think we'll still need 500 years from now? And I'm kind of drawing a blank. Can you guys think of something? What product do you think people will still use 500 years from now? I mean, I guess I'm going to go with a hammer. 
because I feel like that has lasted this long. So we might still be using hammers 500 years from now. What else have we, what else has been around since then? I, again, I keep coming back to types of things. Like we'll still be wearing clothing, but clothing isn't a product. It's, it's clothing. So I'm really drawing a blank. Can you guys think of anything that you think any product, not type of product, but product that you think we'll still be using 500 years from now? I would really like to know because I am drawing an absolute blank on that right now. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Say hi in the comments. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give the vlog a thumbs up. All of that fun stuff. And yeah, the next vlog will be another relaxing weekend vlog. Also, I was really excited. My Nordstrom order should be arriving on Saturday. So come back for that and I will see you all then. Thank you all for watching this vlog and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!